Hey guys, welcome to the 2020 update for the Yet PDB role menu tutorial. Uh, you may have seen my first video, um, which is now a little bit out of date because it was published in 2019. Um, so it's a little out of date in terms of the available features. Um, so this is going to be an update video where I show you how to uh, use all of the role menu features on the bot. So to get started, we need to log into the control panel, which can be found at yikpdb.xyz. Next, we need to log in using Discord, authorize, and select our server from the list. If yikpdb is not already in your server, it'll take you to the invite screen, which looks like this, where you need to click authorize, and then verify you're not a robot, and then once you have done this, it brings you to this page where you can click click here to start managing it. If the bot is already in your Discord server before you start this, all you have to do is select in here and it'll take you straight to this screen. So the next step is ensuring our roles are all set up in our Discord server so that we can create a role menu. So for this example, let's go into server settings, roles, and we'll create three roles, red, green, and blue. Save our changes. One important thing to note is that if this yagpdb.xyz role is not above the roles you're going to select, so if the bot was in the server before you make these roles, it'll probably look something like this. And if it looks like this, this is not correct and you won't be able to select these roles. So make sure that this role is above any of the roles that you're trying to select. Make sure you save your changes and then we will head back to the control panel to set up the role menu. So the first thing that we're going to need to click is tools and utilities and then role commands. This is where we'll set up the role menu. So now let's create a group. So we must select a mode for the role menu. Standard mode is the default and I suggest leaving it at that if you're looking for something like for people to select like what games they play or what platform they're playing on or role-based chats or anything like that. Um, so anything where you expect people to sub select multiple things, this is a good mode for that. Um, this is a basic mode, so it doesn't have a ton of customization, but this will work for, I'd say about 90% of the cases. So next we have the single mode. And as you can see, two more toggles just popped up asking if we want to require one role in the group at all times after the initial assignment which means that if they click, for example, a color in our case in their role menu, they must always have a color clicked at all times. Um, and then the next is the removing the existing role when joining another role in group toggle. And that's fairly self-explanatory and it means that if they click on, let's say they have the red and they've clicked on that and then they go click on the blue, it'll automatically remove the red one and then add them to blue so they don't have to remove themselves from red. Um, so I would suggest turning this on for a single type menu. The last group type is called multiple and it's similar to standard mode, but it has additional customization settings available. So you can specify a minimum number of roles, which I'd always suggest setting to zero. And you can also set a maximum number of roles. So something really important to note here is that this number needs to be greater than zero and it needs to obviously be the maximum number of roles that you want them to have from that specific menu and it's a hard limiter and a lot of people make mistakes with this so if you set this to zero it will not allow anybody to use the role menu it will not give them a role it'll say the error message maximum of zero roles allowed in this group so if that's the error message that you're getting this is why so you need to set this number to something like like a really high number that you're never going to hit or what I would suggest instead is I would suggest going to a standard mode. And so for that reason, um, I really would recommend using the standard mode, like I said, unless you actually need the extra settings of a limit of the number of roles you can have and the minimum. And so some other settings that are available to all the group types that you may have seen are the requires roles and ignore roles options. Um, they're fairly self-explanatory. So if I set a required role, the user trying to use a role menu, they must have one of the roles that you've selected. And if you set ignored roles, the bot will always ignore a, pr a user that has any one of the roles that you select. So that could also be why if the role menu is not working, if they're clicking it, you have it set up, they're clicking it and it's not working for them. It's possible that they may have an ignore role. 
so we're gonna leave that blank on ours. So now that we've discussed all the modes, I think that the single mode is the most appropriate for our use uh, because we only want people to have one color at a time. So let's name this menu colors uh, since that's what we're gonna be selecting with the menu. And then we'll make sure we're on single mode and then we'll leave everything else blank because I don't need required roles. I don't wanna ignore anyone and um, this will just leave off. We will turn on this though, uh, just so that it's easier because we don't want them to have to unselect an old color to select a new one. So, and then when we're done, we'll need to click create new group. So now you can see we've popped up these settings and after we've created the group, we need to add the roles to the group because without them, the group is kind of useless. So to do this, we need to look to the left over here where it says create new role command. So let's type the colors into the box and we'll make sure that the right group is selected. So for example, let's do red. Um, make sure it's in the colors group and make sure the role that it's selecting is correct um, And again, we will ignore these two they work the same way as over here But this time instead of being for the whole group, it's just for that specific role So let's repeat this process a few more times and as you can see when I typed in blue it automatically changed here The bot will automatically try to select the role that you've typed in the box um, But it's always a good idea to you know check and make sure that it picked the right one just in case Okay, so after we've added these down here, as you can see, um, we can reorder them like this. So now it's red, green, blue. That works for me. So our role menu is basically set up in the back end and it's ready to be posted in Discord. So now you have two options for setting it up. You can use the simple method, which means the bot will post all of the options for you or you can actually use the advanced method where you will send a custom message, or you can actually even make a really nice looking embed to show all of your roles. And I'll have a video about how to do that linked in the description below um, shortly after this video goes up. And the bot will use that as the role menu. So I'll first discuss the simple method here. The steps for this method are pretty simple. So first you need to type in the command role menu create, and then our group name. So in this case, it's colors and then we'll add on to that no DM. So what that no DM means is it disables the feature where it DMs your members every time they click on the reaction to get a role, and that can be like kind of annoying. So I would always say to turn that off. So after we send this command, we just have to follow the simple prompts and react to this message. Make sure you're reacting, not just sending the emoji. Make sure you actually react. And we will get our role menu fully set up. So as you can see, it says done setting up. You can delete all messages now, except for the menu itself. So what that means we can delete this message here. And then we can also delete our command to activate it. And there we go. We now have a role menu. So if someone was to click this, as you can see, my name just turned red. It works. And then we'll test the swapping mode. So if I click blue, it I'm now blue and it took away my red. Perfect. So if you want to know about how to make an advanced menu, keep watching because that's what I'm going to discuss next. So to use this mode, you need to have developer mode turned on in the settings so that you can copy message RD. So let's do that quickly. So first open Discord settings, then click appearance, then turn on developer mode at the bottom here. You don't need to turn this one on. You only need to turn on developer mode. Um, so this will prepare you to be able to use the advanced mode. Next, we'll send our custom message, either from yourself or the pretty embed like we talked about earlier. And again, I'll have a link to that in the description shortly after I upload the video to show you how you can do that. So give me half a second and I'll be back with a custom message. So as you can see, I now have my custom message so we can create our menu. It's very similar to the simple method. Uh, we just have to add an extra little option to the command. So we'll do the same thing as before. We'll type role menu, create, and then your group name. So for us, that's colors. We'll add the no DM flag so it doesn't DM whenever they get a role from the menu. And next we need to get the message ID of this custom message. So to do that, we'll click here, click copy ID. And then at the end of this command here, we'll type dash M and then paste that message ID. So it should look like that. And as you can see, we're setting up the menu again. So just follow the same steps as before, go through the prompts. And then there we go, we're done. We've got a custom role menu. We can delete this message and we can delete this message.
And that's really all that there is to it. You now have two functioning role menus here. So let's say, let's stop using this one. Let's select from here. I'm green, I'm blue, I'm red. It works perfectly. And I only have one at a time because we told it to remove the old ones when we pick a new one. So that's it, you now have a functioning role menu. If you're having any issues at all, please join the YAG PDB support server. The link is in the description below for that. And you can ask a question in the help channel so somebody can help you out. Um, and if this video helped you out, please, please, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. I'll probably be uploading more Discord and gaming related videos in the future. So also click the bell so you can get notified when I upload new content. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'm glad that I could help you get your role menu set up to make your server even cooler. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.